lately. I've had a few odds and ends and waiting on parts and with the cost of lumber being through the roof, I've kind of put aside a lot of projects for now. Um, but here's something interesting. I came across a, a guy on Marketplace who had bought, uh, he kept calling it something, and I can't remember what the word is that he used, but it was essentially a pallet of used tools. And it was a, a big cardboard bin, you know, it was, you know, a pallet square, so four foot square or so, and four feet high, and it was filled with old tools. And these things were beat. Um, but I spotted right away, um, there were two reciprocating saws in the picture. And this, uh, it, he was right here in town, so it was easy to drive over and take a look. And he had them for dirt cheap. And um, of the two, this one didn't work when I got it. And there was another one that did, but everything had something wrong with it. So obviously this thing has been absolutely trashed and I've got the top off and I'll show you that in a minute. But um, this one didn't work. And I thought I would combine it with the other one because the other one had a broken chuck, you know, where the, where the blade locks in there. That was broke on the other one. And as soon as I started taking them apart, I realized that the, the parts were totally not compatible at all. So I started tearing into this one a little deeper to figure out why it didn't work. And it turned out, see if you can see this, that's the battery contacts. It's this whole switch assembly here. And one of the contacts was broke off. You can see there's supposed to be two. Maybe that'll focus. There it is. And on that side, there was only one. And I was able to cack the battery enough that it actually fired off, and it ran pretty good. Thankfully, the switches were exactly the same. Because then I went looking for these switches, and the stupid switches were 65 70 bucks. The switch was identical. So I took the switch out of the other saw, and I put it into here. And it worked real well, except... Uh, there was a couple of things that it needed. One is I, this thing must have gotten so hot. I don't know what they were cutting with it. Here's what's left of the gasket. And that's what goes in between here. And it's all gooey and melted and I don't know. It has transcended matter. I don't know what it's turned into, but it's something. Um, so I had to order a new gasket and then this was missing a plug here, this little rubber plastic plug that was missing. So I ordered one of those, but then the biggest thing was the boot that covered this. And I say it got hot because the boot is supposed to fit real close and tight on here. And that's what you, you know, hold on to it. I, I could put my fingers in on both sides of that thing with room to spare it had swelled up so much and it was all flopping around um ended up having to cut the old one off the shoe plate goes into the end here and everything was so full of dirt and grease and metal bits and it was just horrible uh but again for the for the money that i have into it, it was nothing um, the parts were less than $20. It took a month to get here. Um, so I thought tonight we'll pop that gasket in. You can see I, I cleaned all this up. I greased everything, but God, these things had a tough life. You know, you look here, and this is where the, where the blade goes in. And it's a really neat system on the DeWalt's where, like most reciprocating saws, you can put the blade in this way so it'll cut with the teeth down or the teeth up, but DeWalt figured out how to put, and it's kind of tough to see, but here up on top, you can put the blade sideways too. Uh, it's a toolless uh, clamp on the blade, so you don't need to use an Allen key or anything else. So, well, let's get into it. It was neat to be able to find the 
parts at least. Here's a gasket. It's got some sort of metallic. It's all blingy. So this is going to go here. And that's going to be to keep the dust and grime and dirt and everything out of there. And then this is a little bit of a screw around. You got to get, this is a like a needle bearing that's on there. You got to get that into that trough so that when it, yeah, see now that's, I can feel that's engaged the motor. Um, maybe I should put that plug in there first. This is what hel held up the shipment was this one little rubber plug. I think it was like 88 cents. And it hung up the whole thing. I couldn't get any of the other parts because that was out of stock. Um, that was exciting. That just sits in there. So, this is closed up where we need it. I got my little container of parts over here. Now we get to play. Do we remember how it goes back together? And this uses like a like a Torx a star bit on these. Here. Here is the here is the old one. Um, that old plastic rubber cover. But again, it it's turned into something. I don't know. It's not rubber anymore. And uh, whatever, whatever they were working on with these things, it just destroyed the tools. And again, too, you know, when you're working on a job site and you know let's face it they're not they're not your tools just say that uh, sometimes guys aren't as careful with stuff as if you actually had some skin in the game you know that one's spinning a little bit these were all chewed up too so I'm just trying to an aluminum housing. Okay, before we go too nuts, let's pop a battery in there and just make sure that nothing's going clang, clang, clang. Okay, you ready? Yahtzee. Okay. And, you know, I've said before, I absolutely love these DeWalt tools. These are the, their 18, 18 volt tools. They're just fantastic. Just great. Okay, now this, this is the lever for the um, toolless change, uh, blade change thing. Um, and then this let me get you in the movie here. This goes on here, like so. And there's a couple of screws that hold that on. My question is, and I think what you have to do is actually put the boot. It's the new boot. It was great. I like I said, I found these. There's a company online if you want the if you want the name of the company. Let me see. Hold on. Um here, I'll put this up on the, up on the movie here, uh, those guys, um, it's this, focus, M&M &M Tool and Machinery, 
Yeah. Um, don't order anything if you need it right now, because that, that took a while for them to get stuff to me, but yeah, look at that. Slide that down. Oh, butter. So here's why. There's a flange here. And that plate that holds the chuck, toolist thing, whatever you want to call it. Um, oh, stand by. All right. Now it fits so tight. I'll try to get that off of there. Because you got to feed this into here first because you can't get at it once it's on here I know I'm kind of getting you out of the movie but, but trying to line stuff up so that has to sit there we go there's a journal in there that sits there now this goes here there's an o-ring on the other side of where that shoe goes so I made sure that that went back in there and this these go on here and we're going to snug those down Take them a little bit at a time here. And that's working. That's the that's the blade release right there. And then it fits down in there smooth. You know, it fits flush here. Um, none of that moved. All of that was all gummed up. Now I couldn't get the shoe out of it. It was, here's that, here's that shoe. These detents here, there's a release button on this side. So you press the button and it releases that. This didn't move. And I finally did get that out of there, obviously. But it took work and shooting WD in there. It's WD-40. It's a good lube, you know, obviously, but it's really, you know, it's really a, as good of a cleaner. So I just kept shooting it in there and then using, I got all sorts of different sizes. These are, you know, they look like Q-tips. You can get real big ones too. Um, you can buy those just about anywhere. I think I got those at Menards. Um, you get a big bag of them for a couple bucks. And just kept swabbing that out and digging all that crap out of there. And finally it freed up. Um, so now this shoe, press the button, and that slides in. And that's a rebuilt. I mean, she's she's seen some hard using that's a cordless reciprocating saw it's 18 volt uh, which is the older you know the wall hasn't made the 18 stuff for a while but all my other stuff you know here's you know the impact driver but they all use the same battery and to find you know a tool that was you know able to be rebuilt like this Right, there's the model DC 385 um, it's it's substantial that's a heavy heavy tool got a lockout here so if you hit the button it just locks the trigger kind of nice if you're moving around you know you don't want your blade to go firing off on you but then you unlock it and get back out of the frame here a little bit and You know, the motor, the brushes, I had the whole thing apart. And on these 
nicer tools, they're meant to be serviced. And all this comes apart, and I it doesn't look it, but it, this grease and grime is like tattooed into the plastic. It's as clean as it's ever going to be. But got all the windings cleaned out on the on the motor. Must have been some sort of an inventory tag on the bottom. Um, yeah. So the other thing that came with that, because that this here, that was the prize. That was the big score. The other things that I got, I just knocked my drill over, is in that same batch a driver or a drill, you know, which here's my good one. Um, this is a, what do you call it, a 720. And I've used this on everything. Awesome tool, and it's got the little light under there. We've talked about these before. This is the older version of it. Um, a 759. It works. Um, again, it was packed just full of crap. Uh, you can see it's just all caulk. I mean, the, the vents were all caulked shut. Um, but it... it, it you, can, you can hear and you can certainly smell that that motor is probably on its last legs. But for the price of it, having the parts, because the chuck is the same, the... Uh, clutch is the same, the switches are all the same, all the parts are the same, with the exception of that light. So, it was a good way to get some spare parts. And then, right as I was about to leave, I looked one more time at this, it, it was this huge pile. It was just, it was like the guy, and he did, he just dumped it out the back of the pickup truck, and it was just this mound of tools on the dirt floor. Um, this was in there. Now, this is identical to, I mean, same model and everything. Is Here's here's a good one. It's my impact driver, uh, 825. This one is too. It's an 825. This, I grabbed it just because. It was so cheap. Um, it's like it got dropped out of a 10-story window and then backed over by an end loader. The whole plastic casing and this is as close as I could get it the gap in here again I could have gotten my finger in there um, I, I heated this with, a, with a, a torch just real light you know from a distance just to get the plastic hot and then I just kept bending it and remolding it um, the hammers there was there's just one hammer in here for the impact um, that was all seized and caked with crap and um again full of caulk and god knows but it, this one this one runs and i was driving some big legs into a chunk of four by four that i had just to see if it ran did i need a couple extra drills well no but as soon as i started to look at prices i was glad i grabbed them because you know, now you got parts, if nothing else. And, uh, yeah, like I said, though, here's the, there's the score. A DeWalt DC 385 cordless reciprocating saw. And, again, if you need, you know, you can go back in the video, that company, what are they called? M&M Tool and Machinery. Slow shipping, but they had the parts. Got to give them credit. All right, everybody. That'll wrap this one up. Keep safe out there. Peace.